So I just finished up at AMD's keynote conference where they announced two big pieces of news, especially for tech enthusiasts. The first one being the Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. Looks like they're going to hit mid-year. They didn't give any specific dates, but today we're gonna to go over the details on what they did show and also what I think about this CPU and what they announced. And then we'll talk a little bit later about the Radeon 7, which is their new high-end GPU also on seven nanometer. Welcome back to Tech Yesterday, we're at CES 2019, straight from Las Vegas, Nevada, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new 3000 series Ryzen. Now, there wasn't a whole lot of details that were mentioned today, except they did show us a Cinebench score comparing the Ryzen 3000 series eight core 16 threaded CPU versus the 9900K. Now, it did edge it out, out of the box settings versus out of the box settings. However, it's one thing I'd have to guesstimate would be the clock speeds on the new Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. If it's anything, I'd guesstimate between 4.4 to 4.6 gigahertz all core boost speeds. Uh, since Ryzen does perform a little bit better in Cinebench than the Intel counterparts, especially clock for clock, that's why I'm gonna be putting a number on those clock speeds for you guys who are expecting that. In terms of architectural improvements, you'll probably see some slight tweaks to IPC just like you did from Ryzen 1000 series to the 2000 series CPUs. But in terms of the core counts and threads, this is where things get really interesting in my opinion, because we'll first start off with the Epic CPUs, which they did talk about, and they uh, announced specifically that there will be a 64 core, a 128 threaded Epic CPU going into a single socket. So they indeed have doubled the core counts, doubled the threads, but when it came to the mainstream CPUs, they were only announcing eight core 16 threads on a single die versus the previous generation where they had two dies interconnected by the Infinity Fabric. So I think AMD have done such a good move here because this is gonna reduce the latency from the intercore communication between the level three cache and the actual CPU core itself. And I think this is a big benefit for people who demand the snappiest experience possible, which is why I think the Ring Boss has done so well up until now, or at least up until mid year, until the Ryzen 3000 series is being released. So I think this is a brilliant move from AMD where they're focusing their lower core count threaded CPUs for mainstream desktop users, and then they're gonna be focusing those higher core count, higher thread count CPUs for people who need extra cores and need extra threads, but don't necessarily need the reduced latency. So in terms of pricing, however, they were pretty vague. They didn't really give out any specific details on the CPU rather than just a demo and saying that it's eight core 16 threads and it's beating the 9900K and Cinebench. But one thing we did see was that the PCB and the design of it was different than the previous generation. So they are using a single die for the cores themselves, but they're also using the input output hub on the CPU on a different piece of silicon. So it seems like we're gonna come back to these adored TV rumors now, where he was suggesting 16 cores, 32 threads. And I think maybe he was just a year or a couple of years ahead of himself with those rumors. And I don't think mainstream desktop users quite need 16 cores, 32 threads just yet. And so I think the eight core 16 thread, snappier, higher clock speeds, better IPC play from AMD is one that is gonna excite people in 2019. Now in terms of being right or wrong, it doesn't really matter. This is why we have to wait for the official news and releases from the companies themselves. Another great benefit of the next series Ryzen CPUs is that they're going to be introducing PCIe Gen 4. So you'll definitely see this introduced with the next generation X570 motherboards, as well as some other improvements too. So with the Ryzen 3000 series, you can definitely expect eight cores, 16 threads, six cores, 12 threads, and most likely four cores, eight threads, as well as better latency and higher clock speeds. The IPC and architectural improvements themselves obviously have to get a hands-on sample and review it, which won't come for some time yet. However, moving on to the next big piece of news was the Radeon graphics cards. This will be out mid-February with the flagship $699 Radeon 7. It's got 60 compute units. They're also touting 25% performance increase over the previous generation. I guess they're referring to Vega 64. And this didn't excite me as much as the Ryzen 3000 news because we got a lot more Vega details for something that's releasing in just about a month. 
Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of performance figures. There wasn't any power consumption thrown out there. Unlike the CPUs where they were throwing out power consumption figures, where it was pulling ahead of the Intel CPU, getting a better score, but also getting lower power consumption. The Radeon 7 nanometer, all we saw in terms of benchmark scores uh, was some 4K figures where it was uh, being compared against a competitor's card. We don't know if that's an RTX 2080 or an RTX 2080 Ti. So my guess would be it would likely be a 2080 that they're comparing it to and not actually a 2080 Ti because the Vega 64 uh, did fall behind the 2080. And so giving that a boost in performance does sort of match it up versus the 2080. We don't know until we get the cards and test them for ourselves. But in terms of specs, we'll be looking at 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. In terms of GPU clock speeds and other specific details, uh, they were very vague on that and it will come bundled with uh, various different games. Uh, so that's the Radeon 7 in terms of the mid-range and the lower end cards. There's no details out there at the moment. Of course, we do hope for successes to the RX 580 and RX 570 and even the RX 590. But since the RX 590 was just released, perhaps they're using the 7 nanometer die specifically for the higher end graphics cards. Anyway guys, that's it from AMD's new keynote in 2019 from CES. The Ryzen 3000 series CPUs are coming and they're going to shake things up a lot in terms of pricing and availability we don't really know those details yet and then they've got the radeon 7 graphics card their new flagship so then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comment section below what you think of amd's announcements love reading your thoughts and opinions as always and i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye